Well, every day at 50 past the hour, we open our weather classroom doors to teach you fun and interesting things, not only about weather, but science. And today's question comes from Piper. She's part of Miss B's sixth grade classroom, and she wants to know how does frost affect the beginning of spring? Well, I'm glad you asked and keep sending in those questions, whether you're part of a classroom or not. First, I want to show you Piper and all of Miss B's class, all the advisories we have. Freeze warnings, we're talking temperatures 28 below. Those frost advisories are more in that 30 degree range. And we have these posted because we have flowers, we have some vegetation. And with those cold temperatures, it actually could do some damage to that vegetation. Now notice April 10th through the 30th is this light purple. And we see that you actually can have Freezing temperatures, you know, all the way down into the south. So this isn't out of the ordinary. This is very spring-like, where you get at days where it's warm, and then all of a sudden you get these cold temperatures to dive back down. So it's pretty typical of spring. Now, the good news is we're going to see a warm-up. Look at Atlanta 41, Chicago 27. Let's just pick those two. That will be the easiest, right? As we head into tomorrow, it's chilly. Notice Friday. We're now 47 and 33, so we've warmed up a bit Friday morning. And then Saturday morning, even warmer in the south. Chicago stays about the same because the northern tier actually does stay in some of those cooler temperatures. But we are seeing our temperatures, of course, as we go through the rest of the month. And then into May, they will continue to warm. Now, what do you want to gain? wisdom about. Send us your questions here on social media, tagging AMHQ or using the hashtag weather wisdom and we'll answer them every day at 50 past the hour.